Yes. There were two tournaments this weekend. Yes. Both of them, of which rewarded Capcom Pro Tour points. Indeed. Indeed yes. they did. Let's talk about, I guess since it's shorter, let's go with the Capcom Pro Tour at PAX East. That's right. This is more kind of just like a, an event that they had at PAX. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I mean, a lot of times when they have events like this at conventions, you usually get like three people you know, and then a few. There was actually quite a few players that I knew of in this tournament. Pretty good representation, yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is just Street Fighter IV. Uh, top eight was, oh man, this guy's name, Colon Divider. <laughs> so good. With Zangief. Uh, next was me and Saltine with Zangief. Then Manny Fuerte so, with El Fuerte. No, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, RPD Weak Sauce with Sagat. Uh, RPD Gridman with Viper. Mm -hmm. Then RG Rico, Rico Suave, Suave with Abel. Uh, top two was uh, EGU. It was K Brad second place and Justin Wong Rufus first place. Yep. And um, just want to say that very disappointed. In Mean Saltine, get only getting the seventh place. That's why I wanted to unmod him in our stream chat. Yeah. But, you know, I, I let him stay mod right now because, um, I, I, you know. He got 2 0 by Rico Suave Abel. Yeah, dude. Abel. Abel. First of all, that matchup is like slight geef. I mean, it's pretty even, but like slight geef advantage. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I know you're watching right now. <laughs> what like <laughs> what who's like one of your biggest training partners okay it's an able player <laughs> all right i played the able player too he's really good and you know what gamer be just released a bunch of videos where he basically gets bodied by a zangief yeah 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 and mean saltine lost the game that's right he know. did yeah despite my gaming the system <laughs> We had, uh, we had, so we had Gamer B on the show, right? People recall. And I knew that, uh, because Saltine had told me that he was playing against Gamer B uh -huh. in the tournament that was coming up. And, uh, I, you know, I really wanted to analyze the match with Gamer B because, you know, we, you wanted to do it too. It was like a fun uh -huh. thing that sounded, it sounded like a really cool idea. Um, and just so happened to be. That the matchup that we analyzed was the Zangief matchup. It happened to, <laughs> happened to be that way. And you asked them how to beat Abel. How, how, if you had to beat yourself as Zangief, <laughs> how would you do it? Oh, anyway. Um, no, man. Uh, it's funny. It's funny time. Um, uh, but yeah. Rico Suave is really good. I don't yeah, want yeah, yeah. to no, no, Rico is amazing, amazing. So, uh, yeah. And then. Uh, he, he, he definitely gets under people's skin. Able to cause them to do damage to hardware and stuff That's like true. that. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's true. He's, no, he's known to do that. <laughs> um, and then he lost to Viper, which is legit. I, that matchup, I've been saying that that's a losing matchup for Geef since mm -hmm. before people, I don't know, probably 2009. People thought I was crazy. Um, uh, oh, seriously, shout outs though to uh, Oh yeah, thanks for uh, Saltine. He's an awesome guy, dude. Thanks for weathering the storm, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So that tournament was won by Justin Wong, Rufus yeah. player. Mm -hmm. Cami got second place. The rest of the top eight was Abel, Viper, Sagat, Fuerte, and two Zangiefs. And nobody thinks Zangief is top tier. So um, it was really good. You know, Jabali apparently got 16th place. Noel Brown got ninth place. So mm, interesting. Good job to those. Okay. okay. On let's let's switch now to Civil War. Yes. So I did get to see a, a decent amount of the Street Fighter towards okay. the end in there. And uh, that one was won pretty soundly by Ricky Ortiz. Uh, do you have the results up here? I do you? indeed oh, okay. have the results. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and go through the results before I talk about it. You got Ricky. it. So right. seventh place in SF was Dark Child with Balrog, who's been doing well mm -hmm. uh, of late. True Lionheart with Sagat got seventh place also. I assume that's just Lionheart. Mm -hmm. um, Min with Honda got fifth. Damned Eye with Faye also got fifth. Fourth was Coach Steve with Blanca and Sakura. Third was Smug with Dudley. Second was Zeus with Vega. And first was Ricky Ortiz with Rufus. Yep, the sole West Coast player in the ah. whole tournament. Yeah, wow. he ended up there. So, I mean, first of all, I mean, Ricky Ortiz is Ricky Ortiz, right? I mean, that guy is just ridiculous. So, um, you know, no shock that he won that tournament at all. Um, Zeus and Smug, 
Team Pi getting second and third. Right. I think that's really impressive. That's great. Says a lot. I mean, obviously, those two guys have had a lot of success, especially Smug has had a lot of success at um, NL Next Level Battle. Jeez, I never remember I this. always forget, dude. It's, I'm just going to call it Battle Coliseum. Just I do don't it. care. Battle Coliseum. Um, he always get he's gotten first place like at least four weeks in a row or something. So it's good to see him go out into another tournament and still perform super well. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Like super happy about it, that. It's no longer appropriate, I think, to call them up and comers because they've been they were mm-hmm. like last year, but yeah. there's there's just too much consistency coming out of both of those players. Yeah, so. and um, it's it's really interesting to me. I, and the other thing that I love about it is that. There's just kind of this rivalry that it's building up, you know, how EMP needs to, you know, wants to try to get back into the limelight in New York. Unfortunately, one of their best players is not in the continent, you know, so not in the... I thought if you just strike out into the limelight in that sentence... What did I say exactly? They're trying to get back into the limelight in New York. (laughs) Just trying to get back into New York. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, anyway, that's not fair. Okay, but yeah, yeah. oh, I know, I know it's circuit. It's just a running joke at this point. So, but um, you know that they're that they're calling them out, and a lot of other people I've seen, even like Team Corn, has been calling out the Team Pie and stuff like that. So. A lot of little rivalries here. I think that's really awesome. interesting. Yeah, definitely. You know, and, I think it's great. And I think that area... And it's interesting because P.R. Rog was even talking about his experiences in Japan from Topanga, mm-hmm. right? And oh, we should man, we gotta, talk, we'll yeah, talk about we that talk next. talk about that, yeah. yeah. But, you know, um, he's been talking about how a bunch of people in Japan are training and all this other stuff. And um, New York is one of the scenes that I've always felt like was one of the ones that shared technology the least, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you're right. And I feel like with these teams maybe trying to band together against each other, like they'll start working together stronger than the rivalry. I don't know. It's just like I keep talking I think, about. No, I think I think you're right, and I think that is what's happening. I think yeah, that I think uh-huh. that's already underway. Yeah. So uh, I, I I've heard Arturo give a lot of credit to the Team Pi guys for keeping SF4 alive in mm-hmm. that city. Yeah, absolutely. And you know he definitely knows what he's talking about. He's gone there. He's put in a lot of work himself. Uh, so for him to give them credit, I think is is accurate and, and great, and I'm I'm really happy that they're doing that. Yeah, and you even see tied for ninth, uh, poem also on Team Pie right. got uh, got there with Balrog. So good right. stuff to him. So that was Street Fighter. One more thing oh, about yeah, that sure. top eight. What the hell is Damn Die doing? <laughs> what do you mean? I remember when he made like top sixteen at final round, and yeah. I walked up to him when he was sitting up there. I'm like, "What are you doing here?" And he's like. I have no idea. <laughs> He's just a good fundamentals player yeah, yeah, no, using absolutely. a good fundamentals character. A good footsies character. Mm-hmm. A really good footsies mm-hmm. character. It suits him very well. I mean, he played great, and so he ended up tying for fifth place. I'm just, you know, giving damn die. Of course, you know, yeah, you got to do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Got to give your friends crap. That's <laughs> what people do. Did you watch Marvel? Uh, I did watch a little bit. Um, not a ton of it, but the one thing I will say is the Coach Steve slash Insane, you know, yeah. Uh, and Flux rivalry is what was that? It's becoming super awesome. Like that that rivalry is so interesting. So they've been calling each other out a mm-hmm. lot, right? They played each other in the tournament. Yeah. And Flux beat Coach Steve. Yeah. And then they played each other in the tournament again. Yeah. And Coach Steve eliminated Flux. Yeah. And like <laughs> Flux like stormed off of the station. Yeah. Like, he was mad. And I don't know. It's just it's a cool rivalry. It's, it's a cool rival. I, I like it. I like it. So I, I like rivalries as long as they don't escalate into you know actual well, yeah, problems or stuff like that. But as long as it stays within the game, stuff like that, I think it's great. I, I hear think that. It's great, so. I hear that. So yeah. the results tied for seventh were Vato and Andy G. Fifth place were J Rosa and Crazy Joe. Mm-hmm. Fourth was Flux. Then third was Unknown. Second was Coach Steve, and first was Ray Ray. Yeah. Those three uh, control players, Ray Ray, Unknown, Flux, um, did uh, Alucard go and PZ Point? Yeah, okay, they were at the bottom there. They got 16th place. So good job to that whole crew for all getting top 16 and for three of them getting top four. That's rad. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about how much Team Pi has been doing really well. Well, Team Control doing the same thing there out on the East Coast. Repping really well. I mean, one thing that I really did like seeing is I remember, I think it was when Steve beat Unknown. And, um, like, his, the look on his face was just, like, one of just, like, shock. Like, he's, like, like so, like, 
amazed that, you know, he, I mean, not amazed, but, you know, like, he was doing it. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. I, the, the emotion awesome. that I saw in him was really cool, and I really like that. I really like seeing that. That's awesome. So. But Ray Ray, of course, one of the best guys. Dude, um, Ray Ray's doom is, like, his Magneto's been great, but his doom is ridiculous mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at this point. Like, yeah. His his combos and unnecessary and all that <laughs> sorts of stuff are amazing. But even on top of that, just the Doom movement. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. it's so good to see Doom movement like that. Yeah. Box dashing is like immaculate. Like, I mean, I use Doom, ugh. and every time I watch people like that play, I mean, also uh, if I'm not mistaken, Coach Steve was using him a lot too. Yeah. A lot of these guys using Doom just. They were just like they. He doesn't look like a weird control character, you know. Right, like people. People always say like, or have been anyway, saying that his knock is that he doesn't have good movement. Dude, it was ridiculous. It's like not yeah, true yeah, anymore. Yeah, so. Exactly. <laughs> uh, for Ray Ray, I'm sorry for for unknown. He had two consecutive years of getting second place. Uh, he lost Civil to Chris War, G at right? Civil yeah. War two years in a row, so he gets another top three, which is great mm-hmm. for him. Um, but you know, I'm sure he wants to win. But I just think it's really cool. It's kind of a hometown tournament for him. He's in just the state up north. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's from Maryland. Uh, this mm-hmm. is a Virginia mm-hmm. tournament. So it's kind of home field because that's kind of the same scene um, in some ways. So, you know, he gets top three again. I think that's great. Yeah. Dude, Coach Steve even looks really so good. happy when he got his little cannon trophy. Yeah. Second place had those little was yeah. like a little cannon. Dude, he looked so happy when he got that. Dude, I don't know. It was really cool. That's awesome. I love seeing that kind of passion and emotion. That's all. So. For sure. Yeah. Uh, in Injustice, so uh, Chaotic with Frost uh, got seventh place. Relaxed State with Zod and Cyborg got seventh. Uh, I think that was mostly Zod in top eight, but um, well, he only played one stop. I think mm-hmm. it was Zod. Uh, Coach Steve showed up here too with Aquaman um, in fifth place. Also fifth was Captain Oxygen with Lobo. Lobo, whoa, mm-hmm. crazy, mm-hmm. crazy. That's right, it's okay. pretty sweet. Kinetic Orochi with Green Lantern got fourth. Uh, Astronaut with uh, Batgirl, Catwoman, Frost, and then Sonic Fox with Batgirl. And first place was Jupiter with the Manhunter. Uh, okay. He came from Losers. I think oh, he was really? in Losers okay, before okay. Top Eight started. Which was, yeah, he was, which was kind of an upset. Because he, he came into that tournament probably being the favorite, I would say. Mm-hmm. Really, he's one of the best uh, Martians, and that character's really good. And... So I think a lot of people expected mm-hmm. him to, cool. to uh, do well. Like, I know Injustice has gotten a lot of patches when it came out. Is, do you know if there's any patches coming up or anything? There are like not. That? Okay. There are okay. not. Okay. Uh, they said when this most recent patch came out, which was in September, I think, mm-hmm. that they were just going to let it go for a while. Okay, that's cool, though. It's great. Cool. And, and they, yeah. have, they let it go at, at the right time. Because, I mean, look at this, look at this top eight. Manhunter, Batgirl, Frost, Catwoman, Lantern, Lobo, Aquaman, Zod, Cyborg, Frost. <laughs> it's, oh, it's a really... <laughs> Frost is the only repeat in there. Yeah, well, Frost oh, is Oh, Batgirl, good. Batgirl. Batgirl's too. a repeat, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frost okay, is okay. a good character. Right, Bat- right, Batgirl's right, a good right, character. Right, right. She's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe that's not a huge surprise. But it's... It, this is pretty consistent in terms of how the topic yeah. turns out. Like, there's a lot of variety. And some of the characters who made it there... Cyborg, people think is not very good. He got, like I said, I don't think he played Cyborg I mean, in is, Top 8. Is but... Lobo considered any good at all, or is he actually decent? Oh, he did play good? Cyborg in, in Top 8. He played oh, Zod okay, in Cyborg. Okay, okay never mind. Okay. Um, uh, Lobo. Lobo is a very high damage character with some good mobility um, and some good some good tricks, but like maybe not the best in terms of control okay. and, you know, he has to commit to things. He needs meter to do big damage, like right, stuff right, like that. Right, right. So he, but yeah, I think he's not a bad character. Okay. When when he first cool. came out, people thought that he might suck, but I think that's. I don't know if anybody thinks that anymore. I think he's a pretty good character. I okay. wouldn't say he's top tier or high tier, but yeah, okay. he's he's one of the one of the majority of the cast that is competitive. In fact, maybe I shouldn't say majority anymore because I. In saying that, I kind of bypass characters like Shazam, but Shazam won <laughs> Amazing, Texas Showdown. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. beating one of the best players in the country, Perfect Legend, to do it. So, well, maybe every character in that game is, is legit, which is awesome. That's cool. And, you know, like you said, it's perfect timing because Evo's coming up. Evo season basically is heading into full gear, so this is the time to let it roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, no more Injustice patch, like, a week before Evo. Nope. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's awesome. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Did you watch uh, any of the rest of the tournament? No, I didn't get a chance to see anything else in there. So. Yeah, I didn't either. Blaze Blue was... Uh, DBC with Izayoi, Elvis with Amane. Ah, Amane top eight. Master Crash mm, with nice. Noel. Okay, okay. Then uh, Shuma Gordizzle with uh, Azrael. <laughs> uh, Beat with Kokonoi got fourth. Hoshin with Makoto got third. 
Uh, actually, with Amon, I got second place. Whoa, okay, I need to go and watch these and videos And with now. Ragna and Jin. I need to go watch these videos. Gotta see, I gotta see it. I, I, I gotta see it, yeah. I, gotta I didn't see go, it. so I, I have roots, not roots necessarily, but I lived in D.C. for some years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a lot of family mm-hmm. in that region as well. And so, uh, you know, during that time, of course, I got to be good friends with people in Maryland and Virginia. D.C. itself doesn't really have much of a scene. It's the two areas surrounding it that, that do. And so... As a result, I got to know the guy, Robin, who runs this tournament yeah, yeah, yeah. really uh-huh. well. He's yeah, one of my yeah, good yeah. friends. Uh, Robin Palm. And a lot of the other players who show up there are good friends uh, of mine, too. So I've been going there the last few years. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it this year. I had a previous trip. Dude, Ro- Robin even asked plane. me. I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Robin even asked me, like, in maybe, like, November, like, hey, how's this date? And I was like, dude, that's literally the only date in all of 2014 so far that I have blocked off. That's the, <laughs> that's the one. But, you know, whatever. It's the best thing for the tournament. Oh, so that's, that's what they had to do. I'm yeah. sure I couldn't make it. As a result, I didn't watch most of it. I have caught up on just a little bit of it so far. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, well, it was a great tournament, though. It was, it was very cool. So And still, dude, I don't know how Ricky's going to explain the sword on the plane. Like how do you how do you how ship do that? You do like that? how do you ship that? Like know, how do you bring question. that with you? You know I don't know. That's a good but. question. <laughs> um, by the way, PP one melee. That's cool. Oh nice. Oh, Nintendo got second with gets climbers. Second, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So Rufus won two two tournaments this weekend. Is he too good? To, no. OP. <laughs> no. Rufus so OP. No. 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 Okay. No. No. I still. Every time I see Rufus in a tournament, he still gets worse, in my opinion. Like, every tournament I see him in, I feel like Rufus gets worse. And it's really interesting, because I talked to Justin about that, and Justin, you know, legitimately thinks Rufus is a very strong character. Yeah, I know he does, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't think, I don't agree, but... Yeah, I don't either. I'm glad he's getting a lot of buffs. I'm glad mm-hmm. he's getting a lot of buffs, because, honestly, I feel like Justin would win more tournaments if he was using somebody else. Yeah. But... Hey, because that's the worst thing about it is a lot of people are like, Justin's not as strong as he was before. Right, yeah. He's using Storm in Marvel and Rufus in Street Fighter Four. you know. I mean, I'm not Pretty trying much. to make excuses for him, which everyone says I always do for Justin, but I'm making excuses for him hey, in man, a way. If, if Justin, <laughs> if Justin had, had played, like, Elena in Third Strike, that dude wasn't making it to SPO. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, so, yeah. I mean, it's kind of interesting because I got into a big conversation with this about with a bunch of people uh, on Twitter. A lot of people got mad at me because I kind of, you know, I, I kind of talk shit about Fae Lone players a little bit. And mm. so a lot of Fae Lone players got mad at oh, me yeah? about that. Are there uh, lots of Fae Lone players to get mad? Is that... I don't know. Well, is he a popular character? <laughs> I don't know. Because I basically... Because, uh, you know, ETR ran a set with, uh, with uh, Driftwood. I do. And he lost that one, right? And he was like... You know, I'm I'm frustrated with myself. You know, I, I know all this other stuff, and I was like, dude, Fei Long's too good of a character. Like when you play Fei Long, you you you're better than you know. That's, you're a little better than what you would be if you played somebody else, because Fei Long is really good. And <laughs> dude, I got so you got you got crap yeah. for that. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would give you crap for <laughs> yeah, tears are a real thing. It's yeah. not they're not fake. It it is true that you have to have a character that you fit. Yes. It's yes, not, yes. Even if the character's top tier, like right. if I played like Cammy, I wouldn't. That would suck. I wouldn't do well with that because I don't have the execution. Right, 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 right. Um, I don't have the mindset. I, w- I wouldn't be do- be good. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to pick a certain character. Right. But if that character is top tier, if my character is top tier, I have an easier time. With yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, the fu- the funniest thing to me is like, like all the Phelan players are getting mad at me, and I was like, look, if I said the same thing about Cammy, you would all agree. Right, and I was like zero Virgil. You're gonna agree, right? And it's just it's one of those things when it's the character that you play, it's hard to hear sometimes. You know? So yeah, like Saltine says, he thought he was amazing when he played Vanilla Sagat. Um, yeah, I and and I you know I I know how that was from the Zangief perspective too. When the game was was kind of new and I was still just like doing some of this and three <laughs> punches and I was beating people. Dude, Vanilla um, Geef. It was, it was silly, uh, and, and people didn't know how to deal with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he was, he was a good character. He was, in the end, probably like high tier or something. He wasn't top tier, but he was a good character. Right, right, right. I know that feeling of playing that character and how well I did. And I know the feeling of playing Q, which was about the same period of time, and how well I did. And I was winning tournaments on the one hand, and I was barely making top eights, <laughs> if at all, on the other. Okay, I was the same dude. <laughs> So I, I know I know how that uh, experience of tears goes. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you you can't 
deny that tears exist. That's just gonna happen. So, but yeah. So anyway, I I th- like I'm glad Rufus is getting better at Ultra. That sounds That's fine. I'm gonna say I'm fine okay. with it. Okay. Uh, oh, dive kick, redacted one. This is addition edition. Gummo got second with dive. Don with oh, shoals and okay. kick. Fublat with Markman. Sparta with Mr. N got fifth. Sonic Fox got fifth also with S Kill. And seventh places were Elvis with Shoals and One Morbid with Redacted. So okay. Redacted. Oh, yeah. And it looks like Damned I won the ST tournament, but I think ah. Ganelon is going to qualify. That good. is awesome. Yeah. I'm so, really happy for Ganelon. Yeah. I used to play with him back in the old C3 days. That was our monthly tournament in Virginia. Right. And he and he and I played a lot. We met up in a lot of uh, tournament matches. Krost, who's also in there, same deal. He played Geef and, and Old Ken. Now he's Old Ken. Um, Renegade, I played with <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Psycho Chronic. Well, he came down sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Arturo. Um, yeah. Those are that's that's like an old Virginia tournament. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm really happy for Ganelon. He has become since then, and not just now, but for for a few years now, one of the best Vegas in the country. So I'm I'm happy for him. Okay. Cool. Okay, so um, I guess before we go on a break, let's talk about the other thing that happened over this weekend, which was Topanga, right? So, I mean, that was pretty big, the Topanga World Cup. You don't want to take a break for us for that? Uh, Okay, let's take a break then. I mean, I feel like there's a bunch to talk about. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. 